What's up guys? Thanks so much for tuning in again for another video. As you can see by the title, today I'm going to review my experience with Warby Parker. If that's something you guys are interested in, please stay tuned. So a couple of weeks ago, I had a routine annual checkup at my optometrist and uh, basically what he told me was that I needed to stop abusing my day and night contacts so much. Decided that if I got the day and night lenses it wouldn't be as bad, but apparently it's caught, caught up with me a little bit. My eye doctor pretty much told me that I needed to start scheduling my uh, eyeglass to contact wear or whatever at least a little bit um, just because I was like my pupils were not getting enough oxygen pretty much because of the continuous contact lens wear and so I was getting like new vasculature around my eyes which is not good overall he was pretty much just trying to tell me like hey you need to just go ahead and do LASIK you're a good candidate for that um, and just you know quit fussing with contacts altogether so that's something that I'm kind of nervous about doing but I'm thinking like within, I don't know, maybe the next eight or nine months I'll look into doing that uh, just because uh, I like went ahead and ordered contacts for the whole year after that appointment. Um, but yeah, that's definitely something that I would like to do. Okay, anyway, I haven't had a nice pair of glasses like ever. I always get like really cheap lenses and actually the last time I probably got like some new frames was maybe in like high school, something like that. Um, and I never really used those glasses anyway because I had contacts and I really didn't like the, the frames that I had anyway. So a company that I hear so much about um, from friends, from social media, and like they have stores popping up in like different malls now, it's Warby Parker. Um, they're kind of known for putting out really stylish, inexpensive frames, um, and you don't necessarily have to go through insurance, but they have re um, vision insurance reimbursement, and so I decided that I was going to check it out. One of the cool things about Warby Parker is that they allow you to do a home try-on test. So. Basically, you go online, you can take a quiz, or you can just do it by yourself, but the quiz kind of helps you narrow down your selection of um, styles that you may like, that may suit you. And from that, you can build a box of five frames that you'd like to try on. They mail it to you, you try it on. If there's something in that uh, box of five that you like, you... Um, Make note of that, they give you a shipping label, you just send it right back to them, and um, yeah, you order the frames online, give them the prescription, and they mail it right on back to you. The other day, I got my actual frames that I ordered um, from Warby Parker. It came in a box bigger than this, um, and then it came in this nice little navy blue box that has Warby Parker written across, and then it comes in a really nice navy blue case, and it comes with this little informational packet just about um, taking care of your glasses, getting them resized or refit, whatever you need to do. Um, yeah, so if I open this up right here, so I got the Welty frames in the. Um, I'm gonna forget. It's like the Eastern Bluebird fade, I think, cause it's like blue on the bottom, like these two-tone glasses. I'm really into them. I've never gotten glasses like this before, um, but these are fun, but also professional, so I could like easily wear them to work. I like the way they look. I like the way they feel. Um, I've obviously tried them on already, and right now I can't even see the way that I look because I have contacts on, and it, everything just looks terrible through these but overall I was really happy with the way um, <clears throat> the eyeglasses turned out the fit is pretty good I didn't need to get them resized um, <clears throat> and I mean the, the glass itself or you know the eyeglasses itself it feels pretty good um, it's lightweight but it doesn't necessarily feel like a super cheap lens either uh, I'm not a huge fan of like 
all the way around metal frames uh, just because I feel like you can't get a lot of like really nice designs with that. Um, anyway, I like this with my um, prescription in it and with the special lenses that I got. So I think if your power is more than like a 4.0 or something like that, you can opt to get thinner lenses put in. And that's what I got. It looks good. All in all, everything got to $125, which is very reasonable. Uh, I know going into like my eye, doctor office, eye doctor's office to pick out frames can be super expensive and like it's not even worth trying to get insurance to cover it when you have glasses and contacts sometimes. Um, the cool thing about Warby Parker though is that if you do decide to go with them, you can use, uh, if you're eligible, you can use your vision insurance and get reimbursement for your glasses. I unfortunately could not do that this time because I went to <clears throat> an out of network eye doctor. Um, so that didn't work out for me, but for you guys, that's something to think about before you start this whole process. Make sure that you're doing everything according to the rules of your insurance policy so that you're not having to pay more than you have to to get glasses and contacts um, that you need, obviously. So one thing that was really cool about the packaging that this came in was the uh, lens cleaning cloth that it comes with. It kind of has the story of how Warby Parker started. So it goes, Warby Parker in 100 words. Once upon a time, a young man left his glasses on an airplane. He tried to buy new glasses, but new glasses were expensive. Why is it so hard to buy stylish glasses without spending a fortune on them, he wondered. He returned to school and told his friends, we should start a company to sell amazing glasses for non-insane prices, said one. We should make shopping for glasses fun, said another. We should distribute a pair of glasses to someone in need for every pair sold, said a third. Eureka, Warby Parker was born. So I thought that was just like a cute little add-on. Um, just to figure out, you know, like a little bit of what they're about. So one thing that I have to say that made this purchasing experience better was the fact that their customer service was so great. Um, there was a little bit of a mix up whenever I ordered um, the frames, I had the wrong address put in for shipping, and I think I called maybe on like a, a Saturday night, <coughs> but I like was able to call their customer service and I talked to a person and not like an operating system and like messing with all of that. But she was super great and she took care of um, the changes and you know redid the order. I got a confirmation email. Everything was super smooth and easy and I appreciate that because I'm sometimes really skeptical when it comes to getting stuff online, especially when it has to do with prescriptions. Um, so I've ordered contacts off of 1-800-CONTACTS. I've never had an issue with that. Uh, they're usually really quick about you know, answering questions and getting things over to you as quickly as possible. And now I feel the same way about Warby Parker. I will definitely be ordering from them in the future. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or comments about anything that I said, go ahead and leave them down. Uh, below the video um, but yeah other than that I hope you guys found this helpful I hope uh, you guys will use this video when you guys are purchasing eyeglasses in the future um, but yeah until next time guys I know I've kind of been slacking putting up videos uh, like I kind of mentioned before the past few weeks have just been super crazy a lot's been going on but I'm really excited uh, to put up some more videos in the upcoming future fitness related and otherwise uh, but yeah, uh, till next time. Bye guys.